So here's another daily do from your friendly local dermatologist. All right, let's talk about homemade sunscreens. Can you guess where my stance is on that? I don't approve of them. And the reason I don't approve of them is because if you get it wrong, you can cause all sorts of problems in your skin. So you can cause irritations, you can cause, I don't know, infections if you're not mixing the stuff properly, you can cause chemical burns, you can cause some, use something that doesn't work at all. And you don't really know what SPF or sun protection factor you're putting in as you're mixing it in the kitchen, right? And so you don't know if it's an SPF of two, of 50, of 100. You don't know how long it's gonna last. You don't know if it's gonna cause problems to your skin. So this is one of those things where I say, look, you need to find a good mineral-based sunscreen, so zinc or titanium. As you've probably seen in other videos, I don't like the chemical sunscreens as much. I like the physical blockers, the zinc or titanium. Get it with a good SPF. I personally use 30. Okay, because 30 is about 98% protection from the sun. Reapply it every two hours when you're out in the sun and then wear the protective clothing, the hats, the shirts, the other things on areas that you don't want to put sunscreen on and so that anything underneath that clothing is protected. Now guys, just because you have sunscreen on doesn't mean you can now lay out by the pool and get all your cancer, right? It doesn't mean that. Sunscreens are supposed to be used if you're out and about in an active lifestyle and you can't avoid the sun to protect you while you're doing something active, not just laying in the sun with the mirror to get cancer underneath your chin. It doesn't work that way. So please, use sunscreens properly. Please pick your sunscreens wisely. And again, if you're just cooking it up in the kitchen, you know, save that for the pumpkin bread. Don't do it for things that are gonna protect you medically.